everybody. Normally, I would try to do this video at home, um, but I got a lot to do today. I'm honestly, I'm not really feeling that good. I don't know what's gonna happen later. <clears throat> so I thought I'd make this now on my way to the doctors. So I thought I'd make this video about Big Brother last night on eviction. So if you are not a member, please do me a favor. Hit that red button below, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell. Um, and I will have more updates and spoilers about what's going on on Big Brother. So as we all kind of knew, last night, Nicole A was evicted. She deserved to be evicted. I like her. I like her a lot, Nicole A. I doubt you'll see this, but if I think you're wonderful, I just think, unfortunately, 21 did such a number on you that you didn't know what to think. And Janelle had her back. Kaser had her back. She didn't know what to think. But it's not just Nicole. There's a lot of people in the house that feel that way as well. So they do the evictions and everybody goes into the DR one at a time. Um, what surprised me, there's two things that surprised me. One, Enzo. Enzo surprised me with his vote for Nicole. I'm like, I didn't think he was voting with them, but okay. So that kind of surprised me out of nowhere. And then I expected Kevin. I thought even Kaser and Janelle would have, but I, I can understand if Nicole was probably saying, look, I don't have the votes. Don't ruin your game. Don't even vote for me. Because she was saying some of that yesterday on the live feeds before uh, everything, you know, the feeds went out. Um, but let's talk about her actual, like, eviction and eviction interview. Damn, Julie. You are ruthless. Oh my goodness. I don't even think Julie realized how hard she was coming over Nicole. Like, I would give you a hug, but you know, the times. <laughs> like, damn. But then, you know, she had to throw that. Already you could see that Nicole was so upset realizing Kayser and Janelle really had her back, even though she kind of knew it. It was being proven to her in the interview with Julie Chen after the exit. And then Julie Chen, Janelle even cried for you. Janelle doesn't cry for Julie Chen to say that to her. Like that was like the, you just saw her slump just a little bit more in her chair. She, she was, she looked so defeated. I'm like, Julie Chen, Moondez. Kicking a girl while a girl's down. But it is her job. Let's 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 be realistic. It's her job. You know, to and it's her job to maybe say things that, you know, other people may not say to her. I just thought she went a little bit too far. In my person I I I I know this game. I love this game. This game is a ruthless game. But at the same time, Julie Chen. Julie, Julie, that was harsh. It was harsh. It was really harsh. Um, but yes, David gets to stay. I'm telling you, I didn't like the way David handled this week. In my personal opinion, I didn't like the way he handled the week. Especially going up to Cole, Nicole right after Vito, I got the votes to stay. That was so messed up on his part. Being a rookie, and I do mean being a rookie on All Stars, oh my God, uh, big mistake. Big, big, big mistake. Um, so then they play the HOH competition. What a freaking teaser that was, man. So, you know, I, me and my girls are diehard Big Brother fans. I mean, as soon as Big Brother comes on, for me, everything else goes off because it's like the one thing that me and my girls can absolutely agree on to watch and enjoy and love and root for. We kind of root for the same people. It's funny, my youngest normally, for whatever reason, 
she always votes for the old guy who was on the season. But since it's all stars, there's quite a few older people. But like, she was like a big fan of Glenn. I'm like, nothing wrong with Glenn. I like Glenn. But, like, why Glenn? She was like four. Like, why? I don't know. She didn't know. I did take her, I both, took both of my kids to meet um, Natalie from 18 and uh, James uh, Hewling from uh, the uh, Southern, this Southern guy who is, uh, he's now a cop. I think that's a perfect job for him. Um, yeah, so I took them, it was so funny as we were getting closer. My youngest daughter was like, yeah, she was like three or four at the time. I was so excited and so nervous at the same time. <laughs> and she was, she was, she was starstruck. It was the first time she's ever met somebody on TV. So it was kind of funny to me. I thought it was so cute. And you know, that's, and that's how long we've been fans of Big Brother. But yeah. Watching the HOH, I knew it was kind of going to be Chance, and honest to God, watching that, and I knew what Janelle had done, you know, she was a bartender for a long time before she started Big Brother back in the day, and I'm like, come on, I, I, I had hope for Janelle making it through, I really had high hopes for Janelle, and she came so damn close, so close, Kaser, we put a little bit too much emphasis on doing the shuffleboard mugs down the, you know, it was a shuffleboard and they reused fake beer mugs now. They wanted to make it really tricky. They would have had liquid in there that actually looked like beer. That would have made it hard. But, um, I thought Ian, I'm like, uh, first Enzo did well. I'm like, someone's going to come up and I'm like, and then it was Ian who came up and beat Enzo. I'm like, yes, Cody had gone, Nicole F had gone. I'm like, yes. And then Tyler walks up. No, <laughs> I went and I said to my girls, he could win this. Frig, he could win this. And I forgot about Tyler. I honestly had high hopes for Ian. Ian was like sitting pretty and I'm like, oh my God, he's gonna win it. And then it comes Tyler like, oh, I thought this could be a week of unpredictability, but this is gonna be a week of predictability. And I do think watching some of the live feeds. Now, there hasn't been much for me to see yet. I mean, let's face it, they're still sleeping now. And I went to bed at a certain point, and I don't, I'm not sure when the live feeds went on, but I had seen some things. Um, and it looks like they're gonna target Janelle and Kaser. No one. I do hope they keep Janelle. I hope Janelle finds a way, I don't know, because Nicole F is so, so Janelle deranged. J Janelle deranged. That's that's a great word. She's, a Jan she's Janelle deranged, and she that's all she talks about all the time. It's what a horrible person Janelle is, and why she hates me. And it's me, me, me. I'm sorry, Nicole F. I I don't know if being on two seasons of Big Brother kind of went to your head, and being on The Amazing Race and being on all that stuff went to your head. It seems like it has. Um, and, and trust me, I can only imagine what it's like to be inside that house on a daily basis. Uh, I, I don't think I would want, now in my life, I would never want to live that stress on a day-to-day -day basis because you, you, I guess your stress level has to change from day to day and I'm sure it increases. I probably would cry in the house just because I get pissed off because I cry a lot when I piss when I get pissed off. Um, so that, yeah, that's that's really all we know right now for Big Brother this morning on Friday, the 21st of August. Tyler is HOH. I do believe, because there have already been talking about it, Tyler and Kaser, why not? No blood on Tyler's hands if he puts them up. But I'm just so sick of them playing like rookies, man. This is a rookie, rookie game that they're playing and it's fucking pissing me off. <laughs> it's, just, this is, it's, it's, it's looking, I'm seeing visions of 21 all over again and I hated 21. 
You newbies need to find a new way to play. Stop this stupid six lions sticking together. Find other people to advance your game. Stop depending on Cody or Nicole or Tyler to take you further. Use your own heads. Does anybody else feel the same way? Aren't you sick of these alliances? Ugh. I mean, I understand their goal is to win the game, but at the same time, you are in a TV show competition to make it interesting for the viewers to watch. That has got to be in the back of your mind. And when you're constantly this predictable, it's not that easy to watch. So, still love Big Brother. Maybe, maybe, maybe Tyler Verdil will do something out of the ordinary. It's only week three. I'm saying no. I think we're going to see Janelle or Kaser go this week. Depending, of course, on Vito. Depending on course, who may piss somebody else in the house off this week. See, this is just the beginning of the week. Things switch. Things totally switch the whole week, next week later. So, you never know. But as it's looking like at this moment, which this could change by 5 o'clock tonight, Janelle and Kaser will go up. We have... Now, let's see who has the safety suite still that who would need to use it. I am i can't remember if Davon, I don't think Davon and Bailey have used their suite yet. So they got their suite. Janelle and Kaser used theirs the first week, um, which was stupid of Janelle. <clears throat> but at that moment in time, when Janelle and Kaser did swipe their passes, I don't think they were aware that they were each other's final two at that moment yet. It was still like two days into the game. You know, no one knew that Janelle and Kaser would be here. And I just, I really do not understand why everybody hates Janelle. I mean, I know Janelle has the reputation, but she's not acting nor playing like that way at all. She's really, I kind of feel bad for her. You know, she's a mom. She took time away from her family. So did Danny. I can't imagine how hard that's got to be. That copper is like pointing his car right at us to see if he can get us for a speeding. Don't think so. But, I yeah, I'm pretty sure unless something crazy happens, it will be Tyler. Uh, Tyler will be Janelle, Kaser. There's nothing against them. You know, this this what we'll be saying. You know, we still got the feet of the play, nothing set in stone. Good luck. Whatever. But I will come to you next tomorrow, next week, I was about to say. Um, I will once I find out who is who has the safety suite, who's won the safety suite, um, <clears throat> I will bring that to you. We need someone not in that six to win. Someone, I think, like there's Ian, there's Enzo, there's Kevin. I think Kevin might have played though. I can't remember who played last week. But there's still quite a bit who can play. That can maybe save either Janelle or Kaser. And then if somebody else goes up, then Janelle or Kaser takes the veto. Whoever's left on the block, if say someone saves them with the safety sweep, we got maybe Nicole left on the block. Nah, eh, Tyler would never put Nicole left on the block. Damn it, who would he put? Kevin? Well, Kevin's safe. Like I said, it, it all depends on the scenarios of who wins the safety sweep, who's safe, who wins veto, who may be on the block by the end of the week. So, sorry. Um, I am hoping there's kind of a blow up, something changes, because I hate these predictable weeks. I really do. And, and we really, I mean, the first week was pretty predictable. This week it could have gone either way. Let's see how next week will go. As Tyler is HOH. I like Tyler. I hope Tyler makes some big moves, but I don't think he's going to do it in the week three. Let's just see how this game goes. Like I said, I'm Ginger Locks Mom. Don't forget to like, subscribe, 
and I will bring you new information and spoilers once we know who the safety suite, who wins the safety suite, and who's safe. Okay? Everybody, have a wonderful Friday. Enjoy your day. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.